Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Young Hearts, a program that celebrates Nigeria's youth. It gives them a platform to express themselves, to show their talents to the world, and to just feel like they belong. I'm your host, Chaka or Jacko. We're at Twinkle Star Studios somewhere in Wusi 2, and we're gonna have a great time. Don't touch that dial. Alright, welcome back to the program. This is Young Hearts on the NT Network Service. Now we're taking a look at some young producer. Now he made a reality TV show and it was all about actors, actresses, directors and people in the film industry. Check this out. My name is Ivan Oleba. I'm a filmmaker based in Abuja, Nigeria. I produced and directed The Frontier, an action series for the Nigerian Customs Service. I am the host of Work Impact Africa, a program designed to empower the African youth through knowledge. We are presently working on The Warring Jewel, a movie on flooding, deforestation, climate change, and green economy. The film medium plays an important role in information gathering. It informs educates and entertains the people. My name is Iman Yaba. I'm a filmmaker. I studied theater arts from the University of Calabar and um, I majored in um, media and film studies. Now I um, proceeded to Colorado Film School, University of uh, Colorado Film School, USA for um, a degree program in filmmaking. And um, basically, I run Twitter Media Network and um, I do my productions here in Abuja films, TV programs, documentaries, it is in. So, okay. Yeah, funny enough, that's a, very, uh, that's a very good question because I actually wanted to be a medical doctor. In fact, the result I used in, to do theater arts, it's a science-inclined result. But there's always been this connect to trauma. You know, even in, in my church, I see myself directing drama for church groups. Everything was tilted into drama and in 1997 I actually wrote and produced um, my first uh, movie though it didn't see the light of the day because of lack of experience then there's this director guy who came to direct the film when he asked he asked me who who wrote this script I said well, I did he was so shocked he now went and bought a diploma form for me in theater arts and that was actually went to to do theater arts and um, when my family heard about it they called family meeting for me for like two weeks you know but as God could have it I it was it was it was my passion and I kept on doing it and now so much so many it paid my bills but I've come to understand that um, media and film is a very powerful tool for change when you want to affect a generation one of the easiest forms and tools is actually film because film captures the essence of life in pictures, in sounds, using costumes, lighting, dialogue, actors, just so much. So I've actually been able to use that medium now to affect lives, change people's perceptions. I don't need to know your religion before I watch a film. I want to watch a film because I want to be entertained. Uh, well, when I went to the U.S. for studies, um, I, I was trying to look for an opportunity to help the younger ones, you know, have an easy breakthrough into the industry. And um, I now came up with a concept called Unleash Your Creativity. Three, four, more, five, five, more, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, my today's exercise experience wasn't easy. <laughs> It was so painful, it was hectic, actually. Although, I love exercising, because as an actress, you have to be very flexible. My today's exercise was okay, it was good. At least it's good for my body. Exercise is good for body. And 
I believe, I feel pains all over me, but I believe with time, if I keep doing it every day, it's gonna lose me up. Um, which is um, a, a concept built on, on empowering the African youth through knowledge. Now, what we did with Unleash Your Creativity is to camp um, young African filmmakers for 14 days here in Abuja. And um, while they were in camp, we were bringing professionals to come talk to them. They will now give them tasks. We shared them into two groups and now made them to shoot two short films. The um, team A worked on drug abuse. And they came up with a movie called Thorn. Bola. Bola. Bola, boy. Boy. While Group B worked on copyright and piracy in Nigeria. And they came up with Sham. And on the 29th of um, November, Asharatin, the two movies were premiered to um, the audience. And um, the best film was voted for, which was the movie on drug abuse. And as we speak right now, they've gotten a contract to do a 10 million naira project next year. And the project they're working on is The Warring Jewel. It's a film on climate change, deforestation, um, flooding, and green economics. If you, if you listen to the radio and watch the television right now, you find out that everybody's actually tilting towards climate change. It's, it's a phenomenal challenge. It's a problem. So uh, that's the project we're doing. We're trying to see how we can actually cause some form of um, advocacy and, um, uh, and make people know more about this challenge of climate change. And one of the best tools for that is the film medium, which exactly was what we're doing. Yeah, the, the, well, as everybody knows, one of the biggest challenges is actually finance. I, I was shocked that I could actually um, fund that thing from my own pocket, which was not supposed to be. You know, we expected to have some assistance from people, but the stand never came. But we didn't want to give up. We just went ahead and we made it happen. And to God be the glory. It came out well, and we're hoping that next year, because it's going to be a year event, we'll be picking different, different fundamental issues to talk about. Yeah, um, they, they, they were in the, in the house for 14 days. And while they were in the house, I, I need to do something a little bit different from what we see out there in other reality shows. I didn't want to be particular about how they sleep, how they eat, what they do. No, I was actually concentrating on their work, work, work. So uh, we had professionals coming to talk to them and tell them some little tidbits on... Um, filmmaking and how they can make better films, how they can be better actors and all of that. And they had a lot of exercises too. Because um, you need to keep fit as an actor. You know, most, most especially in this part of the country, um, they, they, they look at Port Belly as an aspect of being very influential or very big. You know, as an actor, even if you're 50, you can still be fit. So they were doing a lot of exercises and they were shooting and you'll be amazed at the quality of the production they were able to achieve in a very short time because they actually shot in three days and they edited in two days and the films really came out well. Well, um, what, what, what I always tell people when, um, when you want to do a good film is know your subject. What do you want to talk about? If you do not have a message, you cannot make film. So the first thing for you, if you want to be a good director is just ask yourself this question. What do I want my audience to hear? What is the mood? What is the setting? Break down your script page by page, scene by scene, and have analyzed all the mood. When you do that, you find that you're actually going to have a story people will get to understand. But if you go to just shoot a film because maybe you had some money or you just saw a camera somewhere, you can't make a good film.